Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, the Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to quickly show you how to undo the git add command. Now to prove that there's no hanky-panky going on here, I am going to create a brand new git repository right in this git add undo folder. Then I'm going to use the touch command to add a few files like alpha.html and beta.html and charlie.html and maybe even a little devo.html. Now these files are not tracked. These files are not part of the index. And these files will not be part of a commit even if I tried to do a commit. There's actually a nice little command that you can use to take a look at all of the files that are managed by the index and it is just git ls files <laughs> and right now it says nothing is being tracked. Um, so let's add a file to the index. So I'll go git add alpha.html. It's added to the index. Now I have to git ls-files. It'll say, hey, that alpha file is actually added to the index. If you want to be explicit, you can even do git ls-files-c. And that's telling you what's cached in the index. But you're not interested in what's in the index. You're interested in what's removing from the index. Well, to remove a file from the index, this is all you have to do. Git reset and then the name of the file. So alpha.html. And if you don't believe me, I can do git ls-files. And it'll say there is nothing in there whatsoever. So that is how you remove a file from the index. Just call reset on the file itself. Now I actually just want to show you how you can actually do it for everything in there. So I'll do a git add command. That's going to now add everything to the index. But if I do git ls files, you can see that all four of those files are added to the index. If I wanted to remove just one, I could do git reset devo.html, git ls files will now list everything but devo. But if you actually want to reset everything, if you don't have the time to go one file at a time, you can just do git reset. And now that is going to remove everything from the index. So if I do git ls files, you'll see there's nothing in there. And if I try and do a git commit dash m, can I commit? <laughs> It'll say to you, look, you're nuts. You can't commit anything there because before you commit, you have to add something to the index. So let's add everything in, then git reset, maybe on charlie.html. And I definitely don't want to add that because I spelled Charlie wrong. So char il.html, git reset char il.html. That's a good reason not to add it. I do git ls files. I don't have Charlie as part of the commit right now. If I do a git commit dash m, We will end up having a commit right now where alpha, beta, and devo are part of it. However, if I do a git status, you'll see that Charlie is not part of the commit and it's still an untracked file. So there you go. Those are the ins and outs of removing a file from the git index and undoing that git add command. Now, if you appreciated that quick tutorial, why don't you subscribe over on YouTube? I've got lots of more tutorials on Git, GitHub, and DevOps tools. You can also follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And also, I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. Check out some of the stuff that we've got over there as well.